Okay. So, hi guys. So, we are here to talk about the basic radio theory. So, pag sinabi bang wave, ano ba yung wave? So, yung wave is a progressive disturbance in a medium formed by alternating pressure and tension without any permanent displacement of medium itself in the direction in which the stresses are propagated. So, for example, no, um, pag nagbato ka ng bato, syempre sa fish pond or any pond, it creates a wave. Yun yung nagpo-produce ng series of wave which radiated out until ma-reach niya yung dulo or yung bank yung pinakasulok. So, sinasabi, di ba? Uh, the wave possesses the following characteristics. The form of the wave uh, moves out outwards although the water itself does not. So, ulitin natin, di ba? So, the water does not move when there's a wave uh, the moves uh, the, the water stays only the waves move so the wave possesses energy obtained dun sa binatomong bato with the passage of the wave energy is lost due to friction okay so as the wave goes uh, for in kihina siya. So, example lang yan eh. Siyempre, yung pinakamalakas mo wave is na from the start. Then, from dumadating sa dulo, humihina siya, humihina. That's why the waves become smaller as it moves away from the source. So, the wave travel at a constant speed. So, the wave is sinusoidal. It is travel as a sine wave. So, this is an example of a sine wave. Ayan. So, kung nakikita nyo, di ba? Starting from A, dyan ka nagbato ng bato. And then, as the wave moves, Ayan. So, uh, dumidiretso sa may bank. Yun yung nangyayari. So, ito, ibibigay ko lang to as a definition. Siyempre, this is a whole computation when we talk about uh, sine wave. So, sa amplitude, kung nakikita nyo, yung amplitude is the distance between the resting position and the maximum displacement of wave. In other term, that's the maximum height of the wave. And then, kung makikita nyo, okay, it's a cycle. So, a cycle is a complete sequence of a positive and negative value from A to B. And then, yung period naman, which is yung nakalagay dyan na T, or seconds, so the duration of the one cycle. So, it's either seconds, minutes, or, but most likely when talking about electromagnetic wave, ginagamit na yung seconds. So, ito na yung mga ibang meaning. The velocity, the speed, and the direction of the movement through a given medium. Frequency, the number of complete waves passing a fixed point in one second, denoted by the symbol F and usually expresses as hertz. Okay, so as you can see in the presentation, the whole... Yeah. 
that's the whole frequency we are talking about. And then, the wavelength, okay, comes to wavelength, sinasabi is the distance between the similar points on a successive rate or the distance occupied by one complete cycle. So, example, this is A. This is B. So, this is measured as wavelength. Yeah. And then, uh, it's denoted by a symbol, lambda. And then, so when we talk about electromagnetic waves, uh, they say electromagnetic waves have a vast range of practical everyday application that includes such diverse uses as a communication example by cell phone, radio broadcasting, Wi-Fi, even cooking. There's an electromagnetic wave, uh, vision, uh, medical imaging, and treating cancer. So, and then the electromagnetic wave, they say it carries light, heat, and radio waves. And their differences is from the wavelength and the effect they have on a different material. And then that's they are called electromagnetic. And there are properties of radio waves. So, radio waves living in a transmitter receiving the following properties. So, they consist of oscillating uh, electric and magnetic field that are at the right angles to each other and at the right angles to the direction of propagation. Okay, when we talk about uh, direction of propagation, that's the path where the wave goes. And then they require no supporting medium. Uh, they can be reflected, refracted, and diffracted. Uh, they subject to interference and Doppler effect. They can pass through an opaque object such as a building, although they do suffer attenuation in doing so. So when we talk about attenuation, attenuation of a radio frequency signal is reduction in the signal strength due to absorption, scattering, or dispersion and dis uh, diffraction. So another term... Uh, in attenuation, I mean example, okay, as they say, it passed through the opaque building, okay, you are in a room and you have a radio waves sending out. So, if uh, the building or the room is makapal yung wall, okay, nagkakaroon attenuation. So, when attenuation, nagkakaroon siya ng gradual loss. So, slowly, humihina din siya. But not totally nawawala. Humihina na. And then, we will talk about the refraction and diffraction and reflection. Siyempre, the easiest is the reflection. So, a quick uh, Discussion in reflection. So the reflection is bounces off. It bounces off through a certain a wall or object. And all radio waves are subjected from refraction and diffraction or even a combination of these phenomena. So, this causes difference in propagation speed either the side of the center line that bends the wave. So, the most common causes of refraction is when the wave travels obliquely through a medium that have differing effect on the speed of propagation. So, as you can see at the image, uh, there's an incident, incident wave passing through the water and that happens to be refracted. So, refraction occurs when the speed of the radio waves is affected differently on either side of the center line if, sorry, of the ray. So, diffraction uh, occurs 
principally when a radio wave travels close to Earth's surface. So, the tra uh, the wave traveling over the Earth's surface induces a micro voltage in the Earth during which the wave tends to attach itself on the Earth. So, another term for diffraction is spreading of waves. So, example, uh, there's a wall here. Yeah. And then, you are sending signal to a narrow space. So, in sending to a signal, it spread more. Yeah. Another example, uh, may someone shout shouted from the room through the hallway. So, ito yung room, and ito yung hallway. Yan. May sumigaw galing inside the room. So, as it bounces outside, yan. kumakalat siya. And then, nagdagan pa natin ng ibang pader dito. So, pag na-meet niya yung isang pader, bumab nagba-bounce back. So, it spreads. Ganyan nangyari when it comes to diffraction. So, yan. Uh, here are the radio frequency spectrum. So, the radio frequency signals are generally understood to occupy a frequency range that extends from a few tens of kilohertz to several hundreds of gigahertz. So, as you can see, uh, here are the examples of the uses of radio frequency. So, from very low frequency and low frequency, uh, they're used in maritime radio navigation. Uh, yung medium frequency and high frequency, they are used for AM radio, Aviation Radio Navigation, na, which is yung pinag-uusapan natin, and Shortwave Radio. Uh, VHF, ito na yung Television and FM Radio. The UHF, syempre yung mga television din, meron, uh, mobile phones, GPS, Wi-Fi, and 4G. And then, so for high frequency and extremely high frequency are for the satellite and communications and radio astronomy. Ayan yung mga example for the radio frequency. And then, syempre, pag lumagpas na tayo from 300 gigahertz, uh, yung radio spectrum is na din nalalabas na infrared, light, ultraviolet, X-rays, gamma rays, and cosmic rays. So, when we are talking about uh, wave propagation, ayan. so, the propagation is the path or the direction of which the signal is propagated. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, from transmitter, it propagates upward from the ionosphere. Ionosphere. And then, it refracted back to the receiver. So, there's a, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of confusion when it comes to refraction and reflection. Tagalogin na natin, no? Okay, so, pag-refraction kasi, okay, nagpa-pass through siya sa isang, ano bang matasabi ko dito? Uh, sa isang item or object, nagpa-pass through. So, katulad sa ionosphere, okay, nagpa-pass through siya doon, yung radio waves. And then, 
sinasabi nga din is pag refraction, binibend niya yung signal or yung electromagnetic wave. So, this is a negatively charged. Okay. Negatively charged ion. Which is ito. Sa ionosphere. So, pag tawag dito, uh, pag is insufficient yung electronic charge niya or electrons niya, once na nag-pass through si signal to the ionosphere, it bends sometimes upward. So, pag sufficient or strong yung electron ng ionosphere or negatively charged, the signal, syempre, uh, nagpa-pass through pa din siya, but pag strong yung electrons na nasa ionosphere, or sabihin na nating makapal, it bends back to the receiver. Ganun yung nangyari sa wave propagation. When we talk about a refraction. Okay. So, pag reflection na mount, di ba mukha siyang reflection, but this one, pag sinabi reflection, nagbabounce off siya sa isang material or object. So, if solid particle si ionosphere, si transmitter, eh, sorry, yung sinisend ni transmitter is nagre-reflect back si receiver. Okay? Hopefully, nagigets nyo. Ayan. Kaya yung difference ni refraction and reflection. So, meron tayong three principles ng path. Okay, meron tayong sky wave. Meron tayong surface wave and space wave. So, here, ito yung mga predominates na dapat yung tandaan when it comes to uh, frequency propagation. So, sa mga low frequency are propagated by surface wave, middle range frequencies are propagated by sky wave, then upper range frequencies are propagated by space wave. So, balikan lang natin ito sa three principles ng path. So, sa surface wave, okay, nag, nagpo-propagate siya sa curvature ng Earth or sa mismo kung paano yung pag, pagkahulma ng Earth, doon siya nagpo-propagate. When it comes to sky wave, ito na dito na yung mga middle range from VHF. It refracted to the ionosphere. And then, pag space wave, okay, ano siya? LOS. So, pag sinabing LOS ay line of sight. So, kung makikita nyo, example lang yan, sabi nyo, syempre, from the aircraft or spaceship or spaceship air or satellite, nag, yung propagation niya is direct. Okay? From the line of sight mismo. So, may combination din ng pag-propagate kay space wave. So, example na natin itong isang aircraft. And ito yung land. Ito yung antenna. So, line of sight, syempre, bay natin yung kulay. Okay. Line of sight from transmitter to receiver. And then, Ano nangyari? Pwede din siyang nagre-reflect from the ground, magbabounce to the receiver. Ganyan yung uh, pag-transmit ng wave or electromagnetic wave pag sa space wave. Siya magta-travel. It, uh, from line of sight or nagre-reflect siya from the surface.
So here, nasabi surface waves follows the curvature of Earth, a process known as diffraction. Wave front fails toward the Earth as it progresses. So, sinasabi lang dito, syempre, the Earth's attenuation of radio waves helps the process. So, the wave is slowed as it touches the Earth's surface as a result. So, the wave front nearest the surface lag behind the wave farther from the surface. So, ulitin natin, ha? Yung wave front na sinisend or yung electromagnetic wave na sinisend ni transmitter from the surface wave, nagkakaroon siya ng lag pag near nearer siya sa surface. Why? Kasi syempre, nagka-tawag uh, dito, uh, there's an obstacle palagi pag dumadaan from the surface. Kaya, nagkakaroon ng attenuation ng electromagnetic waves. So, pag medyo mataas-taas naman ng konti from the surface, example, ayan, nakikita nyo, may mga objects May mga objects. So, let's say farther here. Yan. Okay na yung pag-send niya ng signal. Malinaw na. Ganun yung nangyari. Pag kakaroon ng uh, send ng signal from the surface. So, sinasabi lang dito, nagkakaroon din siya ng diffraction. Siyempre, when example, nag-send siya and tumama sa isang object. Okay. Lagyan natin ng building din dito. It spreads kung saan-saan. That's why the wave front tilts and diffractive bending occurs pag nag-flow siya sa surface wave. Uh, the stability of this type of propagation makes the low-frequency surface have suited system requiring uh, consistency of signal over long distance. So, the propagation does require large area and the cost of transmission can be considerable. Oops. Ayan. So, sinasabi din, there's a good propagation when it comes to the sea path rather than the dry land path. Okay, syempre, sinasabi is uh, there's a good conductivity in the water. Syempre, from, the, from electricity, Alam naman natin, syempre, may mga components pa rin yan ng salt and yun yan, good conductivity si water kesa sa dry land. So, kaya kung mapapansin nyo, from the image, okay, nandito si 10 kilohertz. Yan. This is the example. Baba natin dito. Yan. From 10 kilohertz, nagkaroon ng conductivity or pag-send ng electromagnetic wave from the sea. So, yung range niya as a nautical mile is umaabot, sabihin na natin, 8,500. But when the signal from very low frequency ay dumaan sa dry land, bumababa siya. Not totally, sobrang baba, pero, yan. Bababa siya sa path na yan. So, maybe from 800 or 75 nautical mile, dahil syempre, merong mga obstacles na dumadaan kay dry land like deserts rock pwede ding 
uh, buildings or any structures na pwedeng magkaroon na attenuation kay radio waves. So, there are different types of surface will affect the transmission of ground waves differently. And there is a transmitter power where the surface absorption and free space loss reduce the signal strength of radio waves. If there is no restriction in the available transmitter power, then global range can be achieved by very low frequency radio waves. And then there's a noise and interference. Noise affects the lower frequencies, consequently affecting the signal noise ratio. This can limit the usable range. So for maximum ground wave range, use low frequency for maximum diffraction and least attenuation. And use vertical polarization. So when it comes to vertical polarization, antenna with a single vertical element can radiate the electromagnetic signals equally in the horizontal plane. Uh, example ng mga vertically polarized antenna are the whip antennas in the automobiles and antennas in the AM radio broadcasting tower. Okay. Um, next is a skyed wave. So, the sky wave ascends in the upper atmosphere and encounter region containing electrically charged particles, which is the ionosphere, where it is refracted sufficiently to return to Earth. So, at yung sinasabi natin kanina. Na yung ionization, if the ionization is insufficiently intense, the frequent, uh, tumatagos si yung signal or yung pagkakatransmit ng signal, which is yung nakikita nyo sa may video. Presentation, I mean, sorry. Okay? Ganyan yung nangyayari. Pag yung ionization ni ionosphere ay insufficiently intense. But when, syempre, um, sufficiently intense or sufficient yung ionization from the ionosphere, when you send signal, it bends back to the receiver. Ayun nangyayari. And then, sinasabi naman dito, the frequency is too high, the angle of end, and the angle of entry is too acute. So, same as that. When the frequency is too high, it might bend upwardly or not to the mismong receiver. Ganun din kay the angle entry is too acute. So, kung mapapansin yung angle dito, masyadong maliit yung entry, it might not go to the receiver. So, yeah. Sinasabi nga eh, sa critical angle for particular frequency and degree of ionization, it is possible to define a critical angle below which total refraction does not take place. Defining critical angle also establish the minimum range or the skip distance any ray traveling away from the area at greater than critical angle will be freely refracted down to about 5 degrees above the horizon. <clears throat> 